Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Melissa's Reading Room. Today in the room, we're going to be reading Limit Your Dragon Screen Time by Steve Herman. Hi, I'm Drew. Remember me? I'm not too easy to forget. I'm the kid with the dra with Diggory Doo, a real life dragon for a pet. We have written lots of books. Perhaps you've read these books before. Diggory needed lots of training. Are you ready for one more? I know I am. Let's turn the page. I've taught Diggory manners and proper things that he should do, how not to lose his temper, and I've potty trained him too. Can you help me with this, please? Sure. Please take your time to calm down first. But there was still another thing I could clearly see that Diggory needed to learn. Let's see if you agree. Although he wasn't naughty and he wasn't acting mean, it always seemed that Diggory was looking at a screen. He was always on his laptop or his tablet or his phone. And even in a crowd, he might as well have been alone. Whenever I would talk to him, Diggory wouldn't hear, since he was watching videos with an earbud in his ear. When he was playing games, he would never want to quit, and if I tried to make him, he might even throw a fit. It's been hours. I think you should rest. No, says Diggory Do. One time we were playing catch, but he missed the ball because he wouldn't put down his tablet he was holding in his paws. He watched videos when walking. He would often trip and fall or not see where he was going and would walk into a wall. He really needs to put down those screens. When it was time to go to sleep, he took his phone to bed. He put it on the dinner table right beside the bread. He took it on the school bus to the park and to the mall. He even took his phone right into the bathroom stall. Ew, that's not good. He got caught watching videos and playing games at school, even though Diggory knew that he was breaking teacher's rule. Then he fell asleep in class and again made teacher mad. He'd been playing games all night and missing sleep was bad. Diggory do, she says. When Diggory Doo got bored, instead of trying something new, he'd play a game or text or scroll through videos to view. Diggory Doo played so game so much, he thought that they were real. He was simply stuck in his virtual wor world and how it made him feel. My dragon clearly needed help. I saw he could not see that living in the virtual world was not how life should be. Diggory do, I scolded. You must surely realize that this addiction has to stop. But Diggory rolled his eyes. Diggory do, I pleaded. Won't you give me give my plan a try? While you've been looking at a screen, real life has passed you by. Just give up screen time for one week, and then you can decide. If you find that you don't like it, at least you will have tried. Look, it's so beautiful. He's missing out on rainbows and kite flying. He saw I wasn't giving up and shouted, Okay, fine, but if this doesn't work out well, I'm going back online. You'll be glad, Diggory Doo, I said. Just wait, just you wait and see. When you give up your devices, how grand real life can be. We turned off all technology and stored it on a shelf so he could hang with others and not be by himself. He no longer had devices to keep him company. We decided he should start the week by spending time with me. The first day we cooked dinner, mom and dad were very proud. Diggory do obeyed the rule, no devices are allowed. We talked together as we worked. I said, it's been a while since we've hung out in the kitchen and that made Diggory smile. Two days was spent in climbing trees and riding on our bikes and other fun activities I knew that Diggory likes. 
Diggory had forgotten that he loved being outdoors. So soon Diggory Doo declared, I kind of like this plan of yours. Day three, we focused mostly on some healthy things to do, like exercise and walking and a game of tennis too. Day four, we planted flowers. We couldn't wait to see them grow. If he started viewing screens again, he'd miss it though. Day five, we read some books. Diggory Doo admitted, that was fun. Day six, we had a party and invited everyone. That made Diggory realize he'd been missing all his friends. Just one day to go, I thought, to see how this all ends. Day seven finally came around. The week had gone by fast. This day was for our noses. I'd say I had saved the best for last. I said, breathe in the aroma of our mother baking bread and the fragrance of fresh roses cut from father's flower bed. Before the raindrops kiss your cheeks, you smell them on the breeze. And don't you love the sweet perfume that drips from jasmine trees? Then take a whiff of fresh cut grass. You can almost smell the green. A nose is quite amazing when it's not buried in a screen. At first, my dragon had his doubts, but Diggory Do agreed that though devices could be fun, he didn't really need to fill the hours of every day by looking at a screen. That's pretty lame, said Diggory Do, if you know what I mean. Diggory still likes videos and will play a game or two, but, it, but too much isn't healthy and he has better things to do. Oh, enough screen time, time to go outside. He put an alarm on. There's stuff he doesn't want to miss and the places he wants to be is living in the real world and not fake technology. You can learn more about these books and get free coloring pages at www.mydragonbooks.com forward slash gift. That was Limit Your Dragon Screen Time by Steve Herman. Thanks for coming to the room today. Bye-bye.